Hello Sophophiles, today we are going to learn fundamentals of ecology. We are going to study the definition, concept and scope of ecology. So what do you mean by ecology? Ecology comes from the words okios plus logi. Okios literally means house and logi means the study or the science of. So ecology means the study of house. Now here house doesn't only mean our house that we live in but house here means the entire environment around us. Ecology also involves the study of organisms that is interactions or interrelations between organisms of either same species or different species. Then the energy flow and different cycles. So ecology also studies different cycles that is Nitrogen cycle, phosphorus cycle, sulfur cycle, oxygen cycle. How these cycles get affected due to biotic and abiotic factors in the environment. Ecology is an interdisciplinary science which means it takes into account physical, logical and other social sciences. Then what are the definitions of ecology? The study of interrelations of plants and animals with their environment under natural conditions is basically ecology. Another definition is ecology is the study of interactions among and in between the organisms and with their abiotic environment. Abiotic environment means light, wind, temperature, pH, soil, etc. Then what is the concept of ecology? Organisms are interdependent which means they interact with one another and their physical environment. That is, no organism can survive entirely on its own. That organism needs other abiotic factors and even the biotic factors for its survival. So, habitat. Many species can survive in more than one environment, like for example, us human beings. But each species has its home or habitat. So, ecology is studied at different levels. So, it can be studied at organism level or population level and so on and so forth. So, environment in ecology consists of water, soil, terrain and organisms. This environment varies due to moisture, temperature, material, texture and biological influences. So, now what are the problems faced in ecology? So, climatic problems like uh, which can be acid rains, ozone layer depletion, or ice that melts on poles, or floods, or greenhouse effects for that matter. Then there are biotic problems faced in ecology, which can be flora and fauna extinction, genetic and evolutionary problems, and taxonomic problems. Now, what do you mean by taxonomic problems? So, to study ecology, one must have the knowledge of different species of organisms and even plants residing in that environment. So due to lack of taxonomist, one cannot identify which species of organism it is. So now what is the scope of ecology? Ecology provides us the knowledge of environment protection. It makes us understand the concept of ecological balance. Then different cycles are studied in ecology like nitrogen cycle, oxygen cycle, carbon, phosphorus and even water cycle. Ecology helps us helps to study human welfare, conservation and agricultural methods. An ecologist must have a knowledge of. So what do you mean by ecologist? A person who studies ecology is known as ecologist. He must have the knowledge of habitats. That is, he must have knowledge of organisms and environments habited by them. Then he must know the material with which he works. He should be able to classify and know the structure of plants and animals. He must be aware of the nature of living and non-living factors, that is, biotic and abiotic factors. He must be familiar with different types of terrain, water qualities in oceans, rivers, lakes, etc. He must be aware of special environmental conditions provided by various kinds of vegetation. And lastly, he must have a knowledge of circulation of water and air and other dynamic processes going on in the soil. Then why ecology is called as an interdisciplinary science? 
Because to study ecology, one must have a prior knowledge of different aspects of science, that is biophysics, biochemistry, geology, genetics, hydrology, atmospheric sciences, and even behavioral physio physiology of animals. Ecology is studied at spatial and temporal levels. Now, what are these spatial and temporal levels? We are going to study in later videos. And role of humans and their environment. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you.